hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you my quick wash day routine you know one of them ones where you don't have a lot of time and you just need to wash your hair and style it within an hour yep one of those so i'm starting off with really old crusty blown out curls i think there was in for about three weeks don't worry i will have my routine for my blown out curls up on my channel soon so yeah i'm just taking those down and then I start to saturate my hair with water. I use warm water, not too hot and not too cold, just because I feel like if the water's too hot, it will dry up my hair even more. And if it's too cold, it's not gonna wash my hair properly. My hair does take in water well. It doesn't take very long to get wet. My hair, I would say it's about medium to high porosity. I don't really have too much issues with keeping moisture retention, but at the same time, it does lose moisture as well. So the first thing I'm doing is taking my ORS Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo. I'm taking a small amount of that and I'm rubbing it on my scalp only and I'm doing it in sections so I do the two front sections, the two back sections and a section at the top as well just because that way I feel like my whole scalp is getting cleaned instead of just you know slapping it on and rubbing your hands everywhere and then I just wash the shampoo out with warm water again and then I've taken that shampoo again and shampoo my roots for a second time just so that I know that my scalp has got a good cleanse and these days I actually do take the shampoo all the way down to my ends I'm usually a bit wary of putting the shampoo towards my ends because I don't want to dry out my ends too much you know what I mean I'm beginning not to shy away from shampoo just because the hair actually needs the shampoo or a clarifying shampoo to you know cleanse the hair from all the butters and all the oils that we use in our hair it actually needs to strip the hair from those butters and those oils because we're just gonna reapply more on do you know what i mean and i read somewhere that it can cause more frizz if the butters and the oils are not cleansed off the hair properly so yeah i've not been shying away from shampoo these days so from here i would usually take the shampoo and just stroke it down towards my ends not rubbing vigorously or causing any friction on my ends or anything like that I just smooth it down with my hands and that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and take my scalp massager and I scrub my scalp with that. Just to further cleanse my scalp and to give my scalp some stimulation. As you know, stimulation is good for hair growth. And then I just wash that shampoo out again, making sure that all the shampoo is off my scalp and off my hair because I don't wanna leave any residue of the shampoo on because that can dry your hair out. And Ah, honestly I hate my shower head it's not strong enough at all I don't know what's wrong with the pressure of the water in my house it's, all, it's been like that for years and they can't seem to fix it but I guess it does the job so I can't really complain and the next thing I'm taking is my herbal essences hello hydration conditioner and I'm applying that on my ends I use this conditioner to detangle my hair so when I'm applying the product through my hair I do a little bit of finger detangling before I go in with the easy detangler brush so yeah I just go ahead and do that just taking my time to get my fingers through my hair my hair is not really tangled at all this time around just because I had it in those loose curls so the detangling process was pretty easy this time and after I finish finger detangling I go ahead and take my easy detangler brush and I brush through my hair and most recently I've reverted back to doing two cane rows in my hair after I finished washing my hair and literally just leaving it and washing my hair the following week and when I wash my hair after I've taken out those plaits there's no tangles at all so if you are looking to retain the length of your hair that is a perfect hairstyle as well so yeah once I've finished detangling my hair I just go ahead and twist it and then I repeat the same process on the other side yeah so I think it is tangle first and then I go in with the easy detangler brush and I work from the tips to my roots and I just do little bit by little bit working my way upwards and if I come across any knots in my hair I go ahead and use my fingers to free the knot and then I continue on so once both sections are detangled I go ahead and take the Maui Moisture deep conditioner I don't really like this product as a deep conditioner I just literally been trying to use it up I think it works much better as a leave-in conditioner so just use whatever deep conditioner works best in your hair and I'm just applying that to my hair from root to tip and once I have all the deep conditioner in my hair I go ahead and take my brush and I brush that through again 
just so that the product can be evenly distributed. And then I go ahead and take some sweet almond oil and put that on top. I don't usually use sweet almond oil in my hair when I wash it just because it's more of a sealant oil and I usually use the oil that's more penetrative like olive oil or coconut oil. I didn't have those on hand so I just used whatever there was. So I just apply that oil on top. I know there's a lot of talk about not using oils or butters in the hair. I mean each to their own but I'm never going to stop using oils in my hair. I've heard videos that mention that there are enough oils and butters in the products that we use but I actually did try not using the oil for a few weeks just to see how I like it and I must say my hair didn't feel as soft and I don't even know what it's doing to my hair not using the oil so I don't want to go and change up my routine when I know that something's been working for me for years so I will continue to use oils so once I finished applying all the deep conditioner, I twist the sections back up and then I tie them to the top of my head and put my deep conditioning cap over. And this is where I will take my shower. So I just go ahead and take down those twists and this is what my hair is looking like at this moment. Very nice and moisturized. And I wash that deep conditioner out. And this is how much shedding I got from detangling my hair this time round. I do have a fair bit of shedding. I'm not sure if I should be worried about it yet. But I do feel like my hair is a little bit thinner than what it usually is. Because I usually struggle. And these days I don't struggle to do my hair. I don't know whether it's because it's in good condition or because it's thinner. So I've got to keep an eye on that really. I know I had postpartum for a few years back. But um, yeah, most recently it's feeling like it's a little bit thin. Urgh. So once all the deep conditioners rinsed out, I go ahead and take my ORS replenishing conditioner and I apply that all over my hair. I love the scent of this conditioner and I do feel like it does its job. But it's not the most creamy conditioner because usually I like my conditioners to be a little bit creamy, to have a lot of slip. But I didn't use a lot of this conditioner in my hair and maybe that's why I didn't feel like it had a lot of slip. But um, because I deep conditioned my hair already, this is just literally to help with the styling process of my hair. So I'd apply the conditioner in my hair and then I'll section it off into four, comb it out, put it in a twist and then that's how I will begin my styling process with my hair just like that. So once I've twisted all the sections up, I go ahead and put it up at the top of my head and I leave that on for another five minutes and this is when I'll do my second body scrub. That takes about five minutes. So once the five minutes is up, I just take the twist down and I rinse off the conditioner of my hair. I focus rinsing off my roots because I don't want there to be any residue on my roots because that will cause flakes and dryness and just giving it a light rinse on the ends of my hair and squishing out the excess water. Just because I want to leave a little bit of that conditioner in my hair just to help with the softness of my hair because the water over here in London is hard. It actually makes my hair rough and dry. So by leaving a little bit of conditioner in my hair that helps not to make my hair so hard and once I'm done rinsing off my hair, I just go ahead and squish off the excess water. And then I take an old t-shirt and I wrap my hair up in a t-shirt. And I left it on my head for about 15 minutes, probably longer. Just because I like to have more control of how much water is in my hair. So if it's too dry, I just spray some water in it. I don't like to style my hair when it's soaking wet. So I'm looking for my head to be just wet enough to actually be able to soak in the products that I'm putting in my hair. Because you know when you put products on dry hair, it actually doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it just sits on top of your hair. So yeah, I just take my water bottle and I spray my hair just a little bit. And then I'm taking the ORS Curls Unleashed Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I'm really enjoying the ORS Curls Unleashed products, I'm not going to lie. And I'm really, really enjoying the ORS line as well. I don't know if they've changed their formula on some of their products, but some of the products that I've been using recently, I've been loving and ORS is easily accessible to us in the UK. It's actually in the supermarkets, whereas some products 
like Camille Rose and all those other products that is in other countries, in Target and all them places. We don't have that over here in, in the UK. <laughs> Literally in Tesco or Sainsbury's you will find cream of nature, Palmer's, Sheer Moisture, if you're lucky, and ORS. Probably a few others but we don't have a full range on our shelves in the UK and it's so annoying. We actually have to go to a whole another shop to get our hair products. But anyways, so I do like this leave-in conditioner, but it's not thick enough for me. But I do prefer to use their curl defining cream over the leave-in conditioner. If I know that I need a product with lots of moisture, I would grab for the curl defining cream instead of the leave-in conditioner. But um, this product's okay. <laughs> it's a leave-in conditioner but as I said before it's not giving me any reason to make me continue to use this as a holy grail product so yeah I'm just applying that all through my hair and I'm using this liberally because I'm not using the oil in this routine because I do go ahead and use the ORS Curls Unleashed Color Blast on top so I was trying to figure out if using the oil causes transfer or whatever. Um, you can check the video out. I'll link it in the description box below. And I don't really like not using the oil in my wash and goes. I feel like my hair is more prone to break in that state and it's crunchy. So yeah, I try to avoid crunchy wash and goes. And then I go ahead and take my Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil one. You can use any gel that you like. These two products were not a very good match for each other because it was creating some white bits in my hair. It completely went once my hair was dry, but I still didn't like the fact it was creating that residue just because you never know what's going to happen. Is it going to flake? Is it going to stay? Do you know what I mean? So I'd rather not have that happen at all. So I have used this leave-in conditioner and the Eco Styler Gel together, but I used the Curl Defining Cream as well, so I didn't know which one was culprit. But I definitely know now that it's the leave-in conditioner and the Eco Styler Gel. They're not. No. Don't put these two together. <laughs> but with just these two products, I was able to get a lot of definition in my hair before I went in with the colour wax. So yeah, I just continue to do that. Spray my hair with water to get it to the dampness that I like. Put the leave-in conditioner on liberally. And then I put the Eco Styler Gel on top as well. I don't do any shingling in this routine, it's just a lot of raking, a lot of smoothing and honestly I don't feel like I need to do shingling when I do my hair like this. And so I just really try to separate my curls as much as I can. I think with Eco Styler Gel it is thick enough for you to have this nice separation going on. And I don't even think we have wet line available over here in the UK. <laughs> like, it's like that over here. Like, I don't even think we have wet line extreme over here. Whenever I go to the hair shops, I don't see it there. So I don't know if it's something that's gonna come over here or, or what, but I would really like to try that gel because, you know, Eco Styler has a bad rep now. <laughs> you know, people's gonna see my videos and I'm using Eco Styler gel and just click straight off. <laughs> I'm joking, but no. So yeah, I just continue to put that all over my hair into each section. So I do take the gel all the way up to my root, not touching my scalp, but all the way up to the root because you don't want to miss out your roots because it would just frizz up and get messier quicker. So I apply it to my root and I just try to separate the curls from the roots to the ends and I'm raking first of all and then I go ahead and smooth it all out. And once I'm happy with the way that the curls are separated, I go ahead and take some more Eco Styler Gel and smooth that over my hair as well. And I also like to apply more gel on the ends of my hair because the ends are more dry and more likely to frizz up first. So yeah, just continue raking, smoothing, raking, smoothing, <laughs> raking, smoothing. But no shingling though. Shingling takes a lot of time. It's supposed to be a quick wash day. <laughs> And this is what my hair is looking like after I put both the products in. Nice and shiny and defined. And what I'm doing here is I'm just scrunching up the curls. Just to bring back some of the definition that was lost from smoothing the hair out. My curl pattern in the front is a little bit looser than in the back. So I definitely have to scrunch the front to match the back. <laughs> it did used to be a lot looser when I first started to wear my hair natural. 
but I think my curls are in the best shape they've ever been so um, yeah they're, they're really behaving themselves <laughs> so with a normal wash and go I would just leave my hair to air dry if I'm doing that at night I would just put it up in a pineapple because my hair is not soaking wet it doesn't soak my pillows or anything like that so I just air dry for a little bit and then put my hair up in a pineapple and go to bed but yeah that's the end of the video guys thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you know when i upload a video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye